decades has been arrested after he was spotted on Google Maps in Spain. Number 10, home invasion. We hope that no one watching this video ever has to suffer the shock and violation of having their house robbed. Hungry? But if you do, we hope that Google Earth can assist in the same way that it did to the subject of this entry. A 2011 home invasion left an Oklahoma woman justifiably traumatized after being held at gunpoint by her attackers. Uh, this is what's gonna happen. Mom, you're gonna save me 20 minutes by opening the safe. Okay. Then I'm gonna tie you up with your daughter so you won't be calling anyone till we're long gone. Okay. Oh, if you could do that, nobody gets hurt. Oh. However, three years later, a random Google Earth Street View search by the woman's friend turned up still images of the exact people that the victim claims robbed the house mere moments before they allegedly gained entry. The evidence was then turned into local police to assist in their search. Number nine, bike mugging. Crime doesn't pay, kids, especially when it's caught on camera. A teen was robbed by twins while cycling in the Netherlands back in 2008. You're mugging us? I don't believe this. You better believe it or you're dead. Give us your money. Oh, no. The pair swiped the boy's cell phone and all of his money before taking off, but not before the Google streetcar snapped some incriminating photos. The victim looked up the crime scene on Google Maps and was able to identify his attackers via the still images taken by the car. Listen, fellas. I've had a really rare morning. <laughs> this evidence helped lead police to an arrest and a confession, as the Dutch twins were apparently already wanted by authorities for other crimes. Number 8. Weed in plain sight. The aerial views available on Google Earth can be breathtaking. They can also lead to some random arrests by police, sometimes completely by accident. This has actually happened more than once when it comes to the pot farming industry. Here you go. One pound of marijuana, and you can sign for it right here. I, I sang for this and, and it's mine. Take it. <sighs> Cannabis collectives have been caught by authorities in places as varied as Oregon and even Switzerland, the latter of which led to an astonishing 16 arrests back in 2009. Over one metric ton of marijuana was seized from that bust, while the Oregon pot farm was on a comparatively smaller scale here, the farmer in question did have a license to raise 30 plants on his property, just not the 90-plus police caught on camera. Oops. Get it out! Shout at the rooftops! This is great! This is the bee's knees, item 9! Number 7. Camper theft. We've already established how violating it feels to be robbed, but what about having something swiped from right under your nose in your own driveway, no less? This is what happened to the Soans family back in 2009 when their brand new caravan was stolen while they had left their house. God damn it. Brad said the RV was supposed to be out here waiting for us. If anybody sees a camper, just let me know. Scratch that, make it their replacement caravan, since their first one had been smashed in a hit and run. <laughs> There were no suspects in the case at first. That is, until the Sones' 11-year-old son looked up their house on Google Earth and bam, there's the culprit in their driveway. It took some time for Google to unblur the image and supply police with the required information, but a suspect was eventually caught, charged, and arrested. Number 6. Police Chase It's not uncommon for still images from Google Earth to catch some sort of criminal activity, but it's another when an entire police chase is caught on camera. This is what happened when the Google streetcar happened to be at the right place at the right time, filming a chase that occurred during bright Serbian daylight. The suspects were apparently caught red-handed attempting to rob a jewelry store, and the footage shows authorities chasing the crooks on foot, as well as in a police vehicle. There are even images of curious and shocked passers-by watching it all go down. Number 5. Paying the Pool Tax a word to the wise, don't try and dodge the tax collector, especially in Greece. The country requires citizens to apply for a permit before building swimming pools on their property. As a result, authorities became a little suspicious when they found out that there were only a little over 300 registered pools in Athens. Well, I love when you talk dirty. Get your mad ass in this pool with me. Axel, get out of the goddamn pool! <laughs> So they went on Google Earth and uncovered, get this, over 16,000 unregistered pools amongst the capital city. Pools that were going untaxed. 
Well, maybe we should say previously untaxed, since those white-collar property criminals were caught red-handed and were forced to pay up. Cannonball! <laughs> Number four, say cheese, dealers. We weren't born yesterday. We realize that the drug trade goes down just as often in broad daylight and on city streets as it goes down in back rooms under lock and key. Uh, so, how much would you like for this? 20,000. <laughs> well, I don't think it's worth much more than 15. However, these dope pushers probably weren't expecting to be caught in the axe by the Google streetcar back in 2010. Police were able to use the images captured by Google Street View to assist in their undercover operation that helped nab multiple dealers in the Jackson Street and Kingsland Avenue areas of Brooklyn, New York. To be fair, surveillance video and undercover officers were also used in the bust, but the Google Earth story just adds a little bit of poetic justice. There's one hand, though. No, 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 I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not paying for an unmarked pill. That's probably PCP. No. Really small chance is PCP. Number three, prison escapee. The internet has made it more and more difficult for criminals on the lam to escape the long arm of the law. This was definitely true in the case of Gianchino Gamino, who successfully evaded capture for over 20 years after a brazen escape while awaiting trial for murder. The alleged mafia gunman actually started a new life in Spain, severing all communication with his family while working a low-key job as a chef in an Italian restaurant. A treat, the kinds of meat and meat, you got the uh, veal, beef, and pork. Ah, good, but you gotta have the pork. Pork, oh, is that's, 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 that's the flavor. A Google Maps image of the restaurant happened to show Gamino standing outside. While authorities used age-advancing technology to construct a composite sketch of what he would look like in the present day. It worked, and Gamino was finally caught. Number two, William Moult. Researching cold cases can be a creepy and depressing business, particularly the lack of closure associated with those that remain unsolved. It was Google Maps that happened to be at the forefront of a 20-plus year missing persons case back in 2019, when a strange sight was caught lurking just beneath the surface of an artificial Florida pond. It was a car submerged in the water, but not so submerged that it wasn't visible from the aerial view of Google Earth. It was the car belonging to William Moult, a mortgage broker who had disappeared almost 22 years prior. Skeletal remains found inside the car were positively identified as Moult, with the man having apparently lost control and crashed so many years ago. Number one, rainforest protection. Google Earth and Google Maps haven't only been used to help assist in person-to-person -person crimes, they've also been utilized in the ecological world as well. In 2009, Google employees trained the Surrey to use cell phones to record illegal logging of their land. One example was the time authorities in the Philippines used the service to help crack down on illegal logging. Freshly cut logs are visible on the slopes and by the roadside, waiting to be smuggled out piece by piece and sold on the black market in defiance of a log ban. Elsewhere, similar tactics were employed in Brazil in order to hammer down on illegal deforestation of the country's rainforests. Chief Almir Sururi embraced the internet in a huge way in order to help his indigenous people stave off illegal logging and mining at home, amassing photographic evidence and keeping Excel spreadsheets to help further his cause of saving the rainforest. Using cell phones, they can document what trees are there and where there's the blank areas and document their plans for planting so that they can gain access to the carbon offset marketplace. Chief Sururi was even acknowledged by the UN for his efforts with the title Hero of the forest. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.